It's said that the best looking girls in Thailand are men. Hello, I'm from Thailand. Around 1% of the Thai population are ladyboys, men who use hormones and surgery to become female. My passport say I am a man. You can see my appearance. Am I a man? Some ladyboys have breast implants or a full sex change, while others keep what they were born with. They're just so sexy, and you cannot believe that under all this is a guy. In this series, we'll join the ladyboys demanding equal rights as they blaze a trail beyond Thailand's infamous go-go bars. We're all the same. Whether sex change or no sex change, we're all the same. This time, experience a long weekend in Pattaya, the ladyboy capital of the world, with two Brits, Scott and David. A lot of people view Pattaya as the city of sin. It's Disneyland for adults. They do say uh, if you go with a ladyboy once, you never look back. We've an exclusive backstage pass to meet Pattaya's glamorous ladyboy showgirls. I am a girl, but my body is boy. No, it, it, it done me. Take a tour of its famous red light district with a ladyboy bar girl. I just to tell for him first, I'm ladyboy now. And we'll meet the ladyboys turning Pattaya into a place of inspiration. I love Pattaya because of Pattaya love ladyboy. Pattaya, the Benny Dorm of Thailand. A resort city a hundred miles down the coast from Bangkok. By day, packed beaches and egg and chips. By night, Pattaya comes alive with ladyboys. Hello, my friend. How are you? Thailand. Brits. David and Scott are here in Pattaya for a long weekend with their girlfriends. But, as with most things in this city, all is not what it seems. Their two lovers, Annie and Pang, are ladyboys. Men who believe they should have been born into female bodies. The, the ladyboys are just the best looking ones. The greatest bodies, unfeasibly fantastic breasts and long legs. Like many ladyboys, Annie and Pang have had surgery to look more feminine. It must be hard for a girl to sort of see, see a guy with such a great body and perfect breasts and they can't compete with that. <laughs> They're kind of mind-blowing. They do say uh, if you go with a ladyboy once, you never look back. Seven million visitors came to Pattaya last year, 20% more than the year before. Many come to experience the exotic nightlife, including the city's famous ladyboys. Big money is spent getting up close to them. Some tourists come specifically to meet ladyboys. Any fantasy that you want to indulge in, you can do here. Ladyboys from all over Asia migrate here to help the tourists spend their cash. A lot of people view Pattaya as the city of sin which it is in a lot of respects. It's just always alive, there's always something happening. Just a great place to be. It's Disneyland for adults. Tonight, David, Scott, Annie and Pang are taking in the more glamorous side of Pattaya, one of its world-famous cabarets. These shows have a unique selling point that has put Pattaya on the map. They're performed by ladyboys. The foursome head for the Jomtian Beach District, where tourists marvel at the beauty of the show's performers. Hello, I'm from Thailand. And get a glimpse into this fascinating world. Outside the cabaret venues, the stars of the show try to entice the tourists inside. Yeah, I haven't been there yet. I'm going in there at 9 o'clock. 
So I'm looking forward to it. What do you think of the girls? Very cool. Uh, yeah. The prettiest boys in Thailand. <laughs> have you seen a lot of lady boys in Thailand? Oh, uh, especially in Pattaya. I still have a girlfriend and um, I prefer her. <laughs> <laughs> The girls charge tourists 80 pence to pose for a picture with them. Hello, welcome to Pattaya. I have my photo taken with that only boy every day. Here <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah. Hi! Make me really excited. <laughs> the double daters are going to Alcazar, one of Pattaya's biggest ladyboy shows. It's been running for over 30 years and is a serious money spinner. The Lady Boys perform three shows every night. If they all sell out, Alcazar can pull in over £300,000 a week. Alcazar is supposed to be brilliant. Looking forward to seeing it. It's touted as a family show, sexy but not sleazy. The audience come to see one thing Lady Boys in all their jaw dropping glory. Backstage, the dancers come in all shapes and sizes. Some have breasts, some don't. Some have penises. Others have had a full sex change. But all were born male. One of the youngest members of Alcazar's tight-knit cast and crew is 22-year-old ladyboy, March. This dress for potential of Alcazar cabaret. Tonight, March is appearing in four of the 18 songs that make up each 70-minute performance. Before show start, uh, we must to stand by here. As a performing arts student, strutting her stuff at Alcazar is a dream job. Dancing means my life. I love to present Thai traditional dancing to everybody in the world. I think it's the best of dance in the world. March and 16 other ladyboys take to the stage to open the show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the world-famous Alcazar Cabaret. This is what the tourists have travelled the world to see a celebration of the irresistible beauty of Pattaya's ladyboys. <laughs> Between the big numbers, the stagehands rush the elaborate sets into place while the audiences are kept warm by Alcazar's own wannabe pop stars. It's all I wanna do, so won't you dance? I'm standing here with you, why won't you move? The cabaret is a mixture of dancing and miming that camps it up to the max. There are hundreds of costume changes with musical numbers from around the world to keep everybody entertained. It's really good. Eighteen dancing in a cabaret uh, has so many styles. Half a Korean style, Chinese style, Thai traditional style, uh, pop jazz. I like this show because uh, the show presents uh, culture to the world. Every one of these transsexual beauties was born a man, many of whom now live and perform as women. I, I am a girl, but my body is boy. No, it, it, it not me. I feel very happy in female clothes because I think I am female. When I see mirror, I think, yes, it's me. I am female, I am not male. I, I think I am little beautiful. <laughs> little. Backstage, March is surrounded by ladyboys of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> I see the body of, of transsexual female in, in Akasa. 
some have a good chef, some have a good fish. I want to be like that. March has had no surgery. She lives as a woman, but has no breasts and still has her male genitalia. In the future, I want to change my body. I like Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts? Yes, I think she's beautiful. She, she is a beautiful woman. March is saving up for the full sex change that will turn her into her own pretty woman. Until then, March conceals her manhood and relies on pills to enhance her femininity. If you take hormone, your skin will look like female. Your body, your face will look like female. Mm -hmm. Alcazar's ladyboys look convincing and sexy, which can be particularly confusing for the men in the audience. This is where it starts, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. First you go to the show, then you get your photo taken. Then you look online. <laughs> It'll be the start of an addiction for a few of these guys. Yeah. They'll be finding their way down to some CD bar. A few weeks from now, slipping away from their mates, fostering an obsession with ladyboys. This is Alcazar, a ladyboy cabaret show. For over 30 years, this spectacular has been selling out to packed audiences in the Thai city of Pattaya. In the audience are Brits, Scott and David, and their ladyboy girlfriends, Pang and Annie. Pattaya is a city where millions of foreigners are willing to spend money, and ladyboys are drawn here to earn it. Mm, 3,000. Very good. Very good. <laughs> but it hasn't always been Bright Light's big city. David is a university lecturer familiar with Pattaya's history. Pattaya was just a fishing village. It's the same as loads of them. They still exist now all around Thailand's coastline. In the early 1960s, this pristine coral-lined bay was swamped by GIs, arriving here from a nearby American military airfield. It would mark the beginning of Pattaya's transformation into a major tourist destination. The sex tourism started really with the Vietnam War. The troops fighting in Vietnam came to Thailand uh, for R&R. &R. And of course, you know, they wanted to drink, have sex. That was what they needed, you know, to escape the horror of that, what that war must have been. I mean, I know myself having been a soldier going on R&R &R from Northern Ireland. The aim is to get as crazy as you can. Um, and those guys, when they were dying in such numbers, wow, never knowing whether they were going to survive when they went back to Vietnam, they were probably pretty, pretty open about spending as much money as they could, you know, and having as much fun as they possibly could. Young Thais left their villages and poured down the coast, creating Pattaya's red light district. Over 50 years later, it's now a world-famous tourist destination, centred on a one-mile strip called Walking Street. The tourists now pour in by the plane load. I see girls here, there, and everywhere. Short skirts, long hair, love it when they walk in. And on Saturday night, it's rammed. I see girls. So this is Walking Street, and this is, you can see, it's wall to wall bars, largely populated by Farangs, white foreigners, Europeans, Americans. I think when people first come here, it's like being a kid in a candy store. There's so many beautiful girls and lady boys that it's overpowering. David knows from experience. He came here when his marriage broke up and found himself entranced. 
There are a lot of people that come here that maybe have been damaged by divorce or they've gone through a bad period in their lives as regards women are concerned and, and they want to escape from that. David turned to prostitutes for company. I've done it, yes. Uh, I have met and had sex with different people every day of the week. I realised that I wasn't somebody who was going to be able to just spend the rest of my days, you know, paying for prostitutes. I wanted something more. Much to my surprise, I found that I kind of liked companionship and I uh, wanted to have a girlfriend, somebody that I cared about and cared about me, truthfully. A much bigger surprise to David was finding himself with a ladyboy prostitute and getting serious about dating them. After one long-term relationship, David found happiness with Annie. I guess because of staying and living here and getting to know different ladyboys and people that live here, I can't help but see the backstory. Through his relationship with Annie, David feels he has a better understanding of why some ladyboys choose to sell themselves in Pattaya. Annie worked as a prostitute at the age of 18. Her story is similar to that of thousands of Pattaya's ladyboys who come here hoping to make money. I not lie because I don't want to have sex with someone I not love and they're not happy to be a prostitute. Annie decided to sell her body because she had to earn money to support her family living in rural Thailand. Hard to do that because just not do for money. Only do for money. That's my job. <laughs> Send money back for my family every month. <laughs> Every year, young ladyboys are drawn to Pattaya from all over Thailand by the promise of making fast cash. There's nowhere else, if they don't have an education, they can make anywhere near the kind of money that they would here. I mean, it's a phenomenal amount of money in comparison to what they'd be used to living on in the different regions they may come from. A few blocks from Walking Street, one ladyboy prostitute is preparing herself for the night ahead. I am 31 years old. I form Pisano Law for Up North Thailand. This is Du. She moved to Pattaya four years ago. She's having her makeup applied, ready for her night working as a bar hostess. Beauty salon name Nong, number one for makeup for ladyboy, everything for Kodu. Well, beautiful, yes. I work back every day, no stop. When customer inside, I take care, welcome, say hello, how are you? But Do makes her real money taking her customers home for sex. And for that, she has to be prepared. If I know Ding, I, I not go for sex, but if I Ding, I feeling for like men 100%. Do has known for a long time she was born into the wrong body. Her name is Pauka, name Mr. Atakit. I'm not gay. I like me same lady, but I need, I need operation. I just to change for men. I think not collect. I have dick. Do is selling her body in order to change it. Sex change operations in Thailand start at 1,300 pounds, nearly one and a half times the annual salary for a farmer on minimum wage. I'm not same lady, but I can do same lady. Sometimes customers like to talk, sometimes customers like to sex. I just take care oh, quickly, customer will say quickly, okay, say quickly, yes. Du is now 31 years old, and Pattaya is an unforgiving place for ladyboy prostitutes of her age. I think I am own ladyboy, <laughs> but I don't care. I think when I wake up, I think I look young lady, I think, nah, I think. 
The sex tourists want glamorous and mostly young ladyboys. Competition can be fierce. Sometimes we are fighting and want, want to win for customer. Sometimes customer shoot for me, okay, how much? 2,000, 3,000 on night. 3,000 baht is around 60 pounds. Across town, the showgirls can earn that in 15 minutes, having their photos taken with tourists. Do has to find a punter who's willing to pay to have sex with her, and not mind that she was born male. OK, you want to go with me? Yes, I want to go with you. OK, you can do. I start to tell for him first, I'm lady boy now. I have dick. Pattaya, Thailand, the ladyboy capital of the world. Catering for 7 million tourists a year. The lucky ladyboys work in the glamorous cabaret shows, but many make their living as one of Pattaya's estimated 10,000 sex workers. It's Sunday morning. Despite a long night touting for business, Du was unable to persuade any customers to come back for sex. Welcome. For Du to afford her flat, she needs to attract customers. But there's been a worrying downturn in her business. No have customer last night, three nights before no have customer. Du wants a long-term boyfriend, and an affluent tourist is her dream partner. She once fell in love with an older American. Tuliba, boyfriend, gift buy for me. At first, it was a straightforward transaction, but for Du, it became something more serious. I see him my bar. Yeah, welcome. I just take care of you, but and after him take care of me, everything, every good, and him come one week, stay Pattaya one week. I believe with him one week for your apart, uh, hotel with him. And how, how old was he, your, your, your boyfriend? 16 years old. The American paid for her to have breast implants and bought her a laptop. He then disappeared back to his family in New York, leaving Du heartbroken. Sometimes I cry, but I think, and I know for for short time, for in love, lady boy and boy, I think for short time, not 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 long time, same not same lady. I think so. But Du hasn't given up hope of finding love with another customer. If you lucky, if you work back good here, you can have see boyfriend dead and then. Lucky. It's a hopeless dream that many of the ladyboy prostitutes cling to, an escape route from Pattaya's red light district. Ladyboys are constantly made promises about, oh, I'll marry you, oh, I'll take you to Switzerland, or I'll take you to Denmark, or the USA, or England, most of which never is going to come off. They get jaded and hardened to everything they hear. They, they think it's all just chokta, uh, lies and stories. You know, it goes on everywhere in Thailand. There's prostitution and bars everywhere. But maybe Pattaya is just the kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the sharp end of it all. If they don't find somebody while they're looking beautiful that's going to be with them and take care of them, what are they going to do the rest of their lives? Just be lonely, I guess that's what they don't want. As she gets older, Do's chances of finding love might be running out. I think I'm really, really sad for in my life. Yes. I cannot see future, I'm good, no good, I don't know. Look. I just make every day good, good. Do's still holding out for Mr. Right. Not too late, look. not too late for me, not too late for me. On the other side of Pattaya, ladyboy Pang has found a foreigner who is sticking around. British tourist Scott has proposed 
and now the couple are on a mission. They've been searching for a suitable property for their new business venture. We've been seeing Pang about two years now, hopefully next year moving to Thailand, Pattaya. Plan is to open a beer bar, uh, amongst other things, but the, the beer bar is the, uh, the main item. Just three years ago, Pang was a prostitute, selling her body on the streets of Pattaya. Now she's setting up a business that she hopes will change every aspect of her life. Every guy looks at her and they think she's available, and she isn't. And she's quite proud now to tell people that she's not a prostitute. And the thing with the bar is it'll give her that, just give her that better standing in Thai society uh, because she's a business owner. And people will look upon her slightly differently, which is good for Pang. Scott also wants to secure his own future, catering to the tourists drawn to Pattaya for sex, ladyboys, or its world-famous cabaret shows. Shows like Alcazar have helped put Pattaya well and truly on the map. But behind the on-stage glamour, there's no let-up in the hard work. Even on a Sunday, the backroom staff gear up for another three performances. Ladyboy Im is head of PR and never misses a chance to big up her girls. Akasa is the wonderland. If you come to Pattaya and you don't come to Akasa, that just means you miss the beautiful lady boy. Im first saw Alcazar's show when she was young. Now she's mother figure to its 400 staff. Many important people to work here. Some girl have the sick, beautiful secret here. Like this. But also, I think Tammy already have the sick, beautiful secret also. Do you have it? Beautiful secret. So Angel, she said that just sleep so very well. At least six hours. Don't drink, don't drink, don't smoking. No, she lied. <laughs> Im is 37. Originally from Bangkok, she's been working in Pattaya for a decade. Im was born a boy, but had a full sex change while she was away at university. It was 10 years before she told her parents. When I was young, I tried to be a man, a boy, the good boy. But however I know myself, yes, of course, I be a girl. Actually, the first time I tell my mother and my father, I am the girl, I don't want to be a man anymore. My father said, you can be the woman, but please be the perfect girl like mom. At Alcazar, Lady Boys run the whole shebang, and Im is intent on building an extended family here that look after each other. I think the already boys who work here, they know that they are star. They are not a simple ready boy anymore. But it's not just the young performers that Im cares for. She also looks after the Lady Boys whose stars have faded. They know their shelf life in terms of how beautiful they are in the same way that girls is limited. The lady boys need to make as much money from the tourists while they still have their looks. The constant supply of fresh, younger talent from outside of Pattaya means that the older girls can be left destitute or forced to move away. Some older lady boys will go back to their village and maybe they'll have their silicon breasts removed and live a quieter life and do all the things they really want to do, which is have a shop or have a small business. Um, some of them keep their breasts and have boyfriends or, you know, maybe some of them uh, revert to being more masculine and have girlfriends. I've heard tell that that happens. Im offers a lifeline to ageing ladyboys who want to stay in Pattaya. When they're too old to perform, they can swap tiaras and tassels for a telephone. This is the one amazing girl. Her name is Apple. Yeah, big mama. Hi, how are you? Oh, this is the lady boy. Look at how she looks like. See? And beautiful so much, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she started with the performance and now, uh, as, as, so I apologize to you, and now she get old. <laughs> so that she changed to the performance to be here. And I said, give the opportunity and the space job for the People who were with us so long time. Showgirls that can no longer perform on stage can find jobs in every department at Alcazar. Okay, hello. Uh, this is our office. 
Now I have been the dancer, have been the performance with the Akasa, and when she get old, she realized that she loved to design the work like this. This is her work now. Ten years ago, when I was so young. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is me. Guess who she look like. Guess who she look yeah, like. I what think she looks like Marilyn Monroe. Yes, of course. Oh, right. One kiss, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so many time, I see the little boy that get old and cat and don't have any money to feed themselves. They like a poor people on the street. Even if beautiful, but so what? Beautiful but cannot eat. No. Outside of the cabaret shows and go-go bars, there's little work for the ladyboys of Pattaya. And it's not just the older girls that suffer from prejudice. Thai people believe that the man better than the woman and think that ladyboy is less than female. This is like a discrimination. We are people, we are human, same you. Entrepreneur Im knows better than most that ladyboy employees are as good as any. This afternoon, she's checking up on her chain of shops where ladyboys run the show. I will go to my 7 Eleven shop uh, to check my, my working team working now. Because how, many, how many 7 Eleven do you have? How many now? I have three. And this is my shop. I have the many lady boy worker work, work with me. So that is mean I can give the opportunity to the lady boy to have the two jobs in this time. Hello, Lisa. I still like to choose to do this business because of I know that I can fit myself. I can survive even if 10 years in the future. By safeguarding her own future, Im is protecting the interests of hundreds of lady boys. This is Cindy. She is only little girl. Only little girl. Little girl, yeah. But her face look like lady boy. Oh! <laughs> Im's unconventional approach isn't just confined to how she runs her businesses. She not only employs transsexuals, she dates them too. My boyfriend. Say hi. Hello. My boyfriend is a woman. He is like a lesbian. He's like a tomboy. Im was born a boy, but had a sex change to become a woman. She's now dating someone who was born a girl, but chooses to live her life as a man. I know it looks so weird and different from the other people. Hi. I am the transsexual gender. So this means I am the real woman. So why I cannot have the boyfriend as a woman? Sunday night in Pattaya. The Ladyboy cabaret shows are over for the weekend. The curtains will rise again tomorrow. Until then, the Ladyboys need to let it all hang out. Tonight's party is at Im's, where she rents out rooms to Alcazar's younger Ladyboys, including backing dancer March. Welcome, Carl. Im's house is the perfect place to unwind. Even if Thai society say we are open already, we are open for the lady boy, but actually still have some kind of discrimination a little bit. So it's easy for the lady boy to hang out together. Oh, come from La. My friend is very nice people. They understand my life. They accept me. They is nice people. When I be home, I am him. I am not any boss anymore. So in our house, all girl in this house, just be sister. That's it. So don't have any rule. Don't have any set standard to figure it out. This is a haven where lady boys can be themselves and benefit from Im's experience. She's keen that her girls take the profit they make out of Pattaya to secure themselves a bright future. 
uh, after salary the boy can gain the high income already, but they never know how to make a financial plan. So I try to teach them know how to make a plan for control the budget and the money in the pocket. Im is my family. Mm -hmm. When I have problem, I talk about with with her. She helped me so much. I love she. I love her. Im's message for March and the next generation of lady boys is crystal clear. I try to teach her that much. Please study. The other lady boy here don't have the high education, but must have it. In the future, he should have the good future like me. I hope so. Monday morning in Pattaya, Thailand, ladyboy capital and city of opportunity. 20 years ago, Pattaya had 500 bars. Now there are more than 20,000, most on its infamous walking street. Off the main strip, Brit Scott and his ladyboy fiance Pang think they've found a bar which seems perfect for their new business venture. This bar especially, it's, it's well known for ladyboys visiting after work. So they will go working in Walking Street or their other bars and then they always congregate back here. Oh. <laughs> You're a typical bloke. But it's not just about having a meeting place for their pals. This is a serious investment for Scott and Pang and will mark the next stage of their relationship. We both want the business to work, so we've got to stick together and, and be strong together. Pang's made it out of prostitution and will soon have a business she can fall back on as security for her future. Before, uh, when you prostitute, Thai, Thai people think you don't. Down. Yeah, but when you be have business, uh, have bar, go yeah. up, yeah? Uh, something chain. Uh, look, look better to look Thai better, people, yeah. yeah. So now that you're a business owner, life will get better? Yeah, I think so. It can be better. Yeah. Unlike Pang, the majority of Pattaya's ladyboys won't find the safety net offered by a Western tourist. But that hasn't stopped the new generation from securing their own financial futures. 22-year-old March is not only a backing dancer at Alcazar. She is also studying Thai classical dance and theatre management at Bangkok University. I have a plan of the future. I want to make my, my life better than like this. I think in my future, I am a teacher, Thai traditional dance teacher. Young ladyboys like March realize that Pattaya can spit them out as quickly as it embraces them. A backup career is a necessity. I must do a good job for a good future. I want to support my family. March has turned the tables on Pattaya, milking it for cash to better herself. Pattaya make money for me, make money for my education, make money for my fam family. Mm -hmm. But even at her university, there's prejudice. Here, the show girl must become a school boy. My university has a law of uniform. It's very important male not wear female uniform. It's very not okay, not okay. Mm -hmm. March hasn't had a sex change operation, and Bangkok University forces her to wear the male uniform of her birth gender. But March sees herself as a woman. Early in university, I wear male clothes. It makes me feel unhappy. It's not good for me. It couldn't be more different from the glitzy routines at Alcazar that celebrate ladyboys of all shapes and sizes. In the future, Thailand will have freedom like Pattaya. 
Leading the way is Alcazar's PR manager, Im. As well as her mother hen role at the cabaret and running her retail business, Im also lectures at another university just outside of Pattaya. Here, Im studied for a PhD in marketing. She began as a boy, but graduated as a woman. That is me before. See how I look like a man, and now here I'm changing. <laughs> and I'm so beautiful in this teacher than the woman teacher. Things couldn't be more different at this university to the one that March attends. The lady boy in this class, hello, lady boy, show up your hand. In Im's marketing classes, she always takes the opportunity to celebrate her fledgling ladyboys. This is my daughter. Over there is my big daughter. If you want to be, you want to be, but sometimes we don't want to be like that. But my parents don't want to be like that, right? But it makes us know the truth about ourselves more than we are like that. How do we live in the society? 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 As a new week in Pattaya begins, March and the Alcazar Lady Boys prepare for tonight's three performances. It may be a grueling schedule, but March is saving for her future. Man, woman, transsexual female, lady boy can make money in Pattaya. Scott is returning to the UK, but will be back in Pattaya soon to set up the bar with Pang. I just feel very comfortable in Pattaya. Yeah, it does have its sleaze on that side, but I know a lot of people here now and I feel comfortable. And it's, it's just nice when people know you. you. You walk down the street and it's, hi, Scott, hi, you know. It's, we all like that. David and Annie head back to their life in Bangkok, away from Pattaya, a place they see as a weekend-only destination. Pattaya itself is just too much. It's just too sleazy. A lot of people disagree with me, I'm sure. A lot of people love it here. Im is one of those people. She'll continue to look after her girls in a city where success, failure and fortune can all be found by a ladyboy. Pattaya give opportunity to me. At Pattaya, I have beefy in my life. I love it. I love Pattaya. I love Pattaya because of Pattaya love ladyboy. Katie and her frantic life are back for a brand new series. So whatever you do, don't miss all the highs and lows starting tomorrow at 9 on Sky Living HD. And you can catch all the gossip on the move with Sky Go.